Because maturity involves helping other people pursue God, then a mature small group is going to have an others-centered mentality. It's going to be outwardly focused. And that means you care about the people who aren't there yet, who aren't members of your group yet. And so that means every mature small group, a great small group, is going to strive to be invitational. And there are certain times where that's easier, where it makes a lot of sense, certain times in your group's calendar. For example, uh, one great time to be invitational is as you get started in your new group. Of course, when you're getting a group started, you're going to be invitational. And there's two approaches to that. One is what we call the crowd invite. And that's where you talk to your pastor and find out how your church makes things known. Like how are you going to get the word out about your new group? So there might be announcements. There might be something, uh, a web page that you guys have at the church. There might be a table. Or there might be sign-up sheets. Look at all the different ways that the church helps you to make a crowd, a generic, broad invitation for people to be part of your group. But just remember that most people don't join a group because of some kind of a general invitation. Most people join a group because of a personal invitation that you ask them individually. And so get your team together and brainstorm all the people you know, all the people you can think of that you might want to invite. And we have a tool called the Group Launch Plan. It's a worksheet that helps you think about these invitational questions at the beginning of a group. But be the one who's intentional about getting out into the lobby and inviting people that you meet out there. Invite everybody that you know. Be friendly. Be the one who is making friends and and introducing yourself in the lobby, inviting people to come check out your group. That's going to help you get going as you get the group started. But the original group launch is not the only great time to do invitation. In fact, don't ever stop being invitational as a group. I want to encourage you to make invitation a regular part of your rhythm as a group. And there's some really good times where it's easier to do that. One of those is when your group is starting a new series. When you're starting a new series, it kind of puts everybody on the same footing. They might feel awkward coming in in the middle of a series, but when you start a new series every several weeks, then that kind of gives everybody a fresh start. That's a great time to invite someone, hey, say, say, hey, we're starting a series. We're starting this new series. Would you like to come and be part? of our group for a while. Now, a second time that's great for inviting is when you're resuming your group, coming back off of a break. So a lot of groups will take a break during the Christmas holidays, a couple weeks off, maybe it's spring break, or or maybe your schedule changes during the summer. But whenever you're coming back off of that break, it's a great time to say, hey, our group is starting up again. Would you like to come join us? And then I encourage you to use special events. Whenever your group is doing a special event, maybe you are involved in uh, going to some kind of a concert or you're going to an exhibit together as a group, or maybe it's a service project over the holidays or some special service project that your church is involved in. That's a great opportunity for you to think about the people who are not there yet and include them and say, hey, we're doing this, uh, we're going to this concert, we're doing this service project. Would you like to come join us? Our group is hanging out together that night night, please come and be part of it that night. And then a one-time invitation can lead you into a longer-term invitation to the group itself. And then in fact, fourthly, I encourage you to plan regular invitational events. Go one step beyond the special event, but go out of your way to plan those kind of events for that very purpose. Plan a barbecue or a picnic or some other kind of a fun event as an opportunity for you to think about and include people who aren't in your group yet. It's easy for people to make a commitment to one event. And so plan events that are easy for your people to invite their friends to and easy for people to accept that. That invitation. And then start this new series on the following week so that you give them a chance to, to come back and become part of the group. So be creative. I'm sure your team can get together and brainstorm some great ways that you can work invitational attitude into the life of your group. And there's some great times of year uh, to do just that. 